D more gang, 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 gang. You know what it is. We gon' make it do the damn thing. Baby, when I saw you, I knew you'd be mine. Yeah, I felt the same way. We didn't waste time. Now we rock and roll and we doing it deep. Girl, you rock my boat. We ain't never seen kids. Girl, you got my heart. I'ma keep it honey. It's D more time. What's positive? D more gang 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 gang, 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 gang. My name is Morgan. I'm the one. D T turn time. However you wanna flip it, I'ma make you rhyme. I got my own type of style, and you better be wild. I gotta well, let me stop. Right. So, um, yeah. If you haven't, make sure that you subscribe to our channel, like, comment, subscribe. Today we are going to the studio together first of all i have i don't have my lashes on y'all so i feel like you're beautiful without it i just look so bare like my eyes just look so naked they just i like it i just don't i like it because sometimes those lashes be a little too long be looking like real dramatic for no reason i like the natural look. i like the drama you know i like I see lash extensions are great for if you're going on vacation or if you're gonna be yeah if you're gonna be in some water on the beach somewhere so you don't have to worry about let alone mascara putting on some lash strips so it's definitely more convenient but i thought like if you get in the pool or in the ocean and you could get them done la lashes. natural well no i'm saying i thought that the lashes come off in the water no so what happened when we was in saloon was my lashes were on their way out and no you're able to like get wet get your lashes wet and go underwater and you should um like if you know you're gonna be doing that type of water activities going on vacation or going somewhere you should have your lash tech make them a little thicker so then you know they'll last longer and if they do if some of them do fall out in the water it's also the good because you got them nice and thick and nice and ready anywho so we're going to the studio today to record our intro song for our channel. Yeah. So it should be really fun. It's going to be dope, you know. Pinned up a little something real clever and uh, shout out to my boy Radio for the beat. You know what I mean? Shout out to Radio. Yeah, we cooked that thing up in two minutes. It honestly was an accident. Like I just went over to his house for him to help me set up my little studio equipment and help me figure out some errors I was having. And uh, he just started showing me a few of the programs that he'd been working on. And he ended up like making this little beat in like two minutes. I was like, bro, I need that. I've been needing a beat. For our intro, I said, I was gonna figure it out myself, but that right there is dope. Like that's all we need. So he blessed us, man. So we appreciate you. We appreciate ya. So yeah, we'll check back in with y'all when we get to the studio. Stay blessed, stay positive. You are better than you were yesterday. You have to believe it though. You have to be, you know, you have to believe it. You have to speak into existence. Make sure y'all do your affirmations. Look yourself in the mirror and be like, I am beautiful. I am bold. And I, am I am strong. Handsome and I am handsome. You know, Men can be beautiful too. Well, I'm just saying. Men are beautiful. We're all beautiful. We're I all think, created in God's there, perfect there's image. There's something, there's something that said, I don't know if it was in a biblical tense but i remember either hearing this or reading it they said that men were uh something like more beautiful like uh, it was crazy like men were more beautiful i don't know than women <laughs> like it was so crazy oh yeah i'm gonna need you to find that uh, yeah, it was so crazy. i don't know if it was <laughs> I'm like gonna need in the, you to find me. <laughs> i'm serious i don't know if it was like in the roman era or I'm whatever but well. it was crazy so i'm just saying you know i, I don't i don't really me. refer to calling men beautiful i say you know you handsome dude or whatever but well, yes, I understand you saying that about another man, whatever. But as far as yourself, it's okay to say you're beautiful, baby. You can say you're beautiful. Anywho. I've been told that by other people, but I'm not going to call myself beautiful. I don't know. It's, I think it's more you're of like, if you think of it for me, when I say I'm beautiful, I'm not talking about my exterior. I'm talking about my whole being, my whole presence, my whole aura, everything about me, my inner beauty. I'm a beautiful soul, so like your beauty is way is is more than just it's skin deep. So it's not just your exterior; it's your interior. I understand. I, I, I so you 
are beautiful. Understand. So even if you got soul at the end, does that make you feel better? I mean, I don't feel bad. I don't feel any other way. I just I don't feel no type of way like that. I'm just. I'm saying for you to feel as like you, as you as, as you as you broke it down and you know name the specifics as it relates to yourself. I understand that. And yeah, everybody should look at their sales as an overall versus just one aspect of yourself. Um, yes. Because God did create you um, unique. He created you in his image. And so, therefore, you are beautiful. Y'all know that Beyonce song, Flaws and All? You beautiful with all your flaws. Flaws and all. Believe that. Find somebody that's gonna love you for your flaws and all. We and just we gonna try. We gonna insert that song when we come back. <laughs> Period. Flaws and all. We'll be back. Lay back. I just pulled up to the lab. You know what I'm talking about? Huh? We <laughs> she said we pulled up to the lab. I mean, of course. <laughs> like you know, when somebody grew up, maybe uh, maybe they just weren't a part of things growing up. So you know, everything they want to make sure they're a part. <laughs> Even me just saying we just got to the studio, you know, she, it's just, it's just, you know, get the, uh, the keys in the cup holder. Come on, bud. I'm, I'm, it's, it's 11. It's my, my time has started. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, we up here, man. About to make it happen. It's my boy, Jesse Spot. Got a cool little spot. Uh, you know, cool spot to get the work done. That's how we profile, you know what I'm talking about? She moves like a turtle, man. I'm telling her I got things to do. She moves like a turtle, man. It's the penthouse right here. Look, look, look how slow she moved. Look, I told her I got stuff to do. I'm late. Look how slow she moved. Huh? I told you to come on. I smell like green in here. Uh, I think we in this. What's that? I think we in the blue room. Jay Money, what up, man? Yeah, what's up? Come on, man. You good, bro? Yes, yeah, it's been a minute, man. This is my wifey. Oh, this hi. Is Jesse. Hi. Yeah, Jesse. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, this is my man Jay Spot, man. He out here in LA. So it's whenever so y'all in LA, tap in. Black. You know, Penthouse Studios project Yo, in the Penthouse Studios. You know what I'm talking about? I love the decor. Oh, thank you, thank you. We got the, star, we got the stars going. I see the, yeah. I see the color. I see the color combination. See, see you got it. Yeah, yeah I know. All work together. Has to work yeah, together. Yeah, Dodgers playing. Go around with a mustard. Dodgers yes. playing right now. They better win. I know. That's yeah. that's why I got all my gear yeah, on. Yeah, you see see I see you representing, bro. Yeah. World Series. You know what I'm talking like about? Yeah, yeah. So. Shout out to Instagram. What's your name? Project J, P R O J E C T J A Y. There it is. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. J A Y, cause I got up. <laughs> what movie is that from? Y'all don't know. <laughs> All right. All right, we working. All right, in a minute, y'all. Ooh, dream made. Why are you telling me I'm real slick? But where I'm from is how we do shit. Uh, the niggas born and you know it. You need somebody that's gonna make you feel important. All right, let's hear it from the top. Girl, you got my heart. I'ma keep it hundred. Need more time. Now we rock and roll and we doing it big. Girl, you got my heart. I'ma keep it hundred. It's D more time. Yep, close one more time. Girl, you got my heart, I'ma keep it hundred. It's ah, one more time. Girl, you got my heart, I'ma keep it hundred. It's D more time. There we go. Is we gonna make you do the damn thing? Okay, but wait, I have to adjust the mic. Same way we didn't waste time. Right here. Hold it, hold it. Okay, that's good. That's good. You sure? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it needs to pull it down a little more. There you go. 
Oh, well, you're not stretching it. Okay, mm -hmm. sorry, the mic was not right. No, 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 we, Dewan did it, but thank you. You gotta come in at the top two D more. Okay. Okay. okay, I'm ready. You know how you come in like after I say it? Gang, 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 gang. Oh shit. Okay, let me go. Say again. it how you say it. Not like, like, gang, gang. Like, okay, okay, know? okay. Gang, 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 gang. You know what it is. We gonna make it do the damn thing. I felt the same way. We didn't waste time. Boy, you got my heart. I ain't never sinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, boy, you boy, you rock my boat. Oh, boy, you rock. Sorry, I just boy, you up. rock my boat. We ain't never sinking. It okay, was good up until go that again. point. Though. Let me go again. Actually, okay, yeah, let me go again. But keep that beginning part. Yeah, so boy, you rock my boat. We ain't never sinking. Um, you can keep it. Just like lower it a little bit. Gang, 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 gang. You know what it is. We gonna make it do the damn thing. Yeah, I felt the same way. We didn't waste time. Boy, you got... Oh, why do I want to say that? <laughs> boy, boy, you, you rock, rock my boat. It ain't never sinking. Boy, you rock my boat. We ain't never sinking. Boy, boy you rock say, my boat. Um, we ain't never sinking. You rock my boat. It ain't never... Oh, no, I don't say Boy, that. you rock, boy, you rock my, my boat. boat. We ain't never sinking. We ain't never sinking. Boy, you rock my boat. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know why I want to say that. Boy, you... Oh, sorry, sorry. You good? You good? You keep going, baby. Boy, you rock my boat. We ain't never sinking. It's Timor. Oh, shit. <laughs> she was ready to get it. Look, she was ready to get that. She she was ready to get that no, harmony. I wanted to she was ready to get that harmony. I in. wanted to try the harmony. <laughs> it's gonna probably be a hot mess, but you know, Jay got me on the auto tune, so we good. Yeah, you good. D more time. Wait, let me try it again. Let me try it again. D more time, time. D more time. D more time. Sorry, Jay, I wasn't ready. Or you could go D more time. D more time. Okay, I like that. D more time. 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 That's not waste of time on that part, baby, because I want to make sure you get the. D more time. D more time. D more time. I can't. D more. D more time. Yeah, okay, try, that. try that one. D more time. I was a that, little like. That was good. We could blend it in, blend it in, you know? Yeah. Okay, wait, can I hear it from the top? Because I don't think I like it. How I did it. Gang, gang, Oh, I love it. That's it. That's can it. I do doubles now, please? Thank you. Okay, you can get out now. She said do doubles. What you doubling, baby? I want to get a little, you know. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. She, 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 oh, she, oh, Jay. Well, hurry up, baby, because I want to, I want to touch it more. Gang, 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 gang. You know what it is. We gonna make it do the damn thing. Baby, when I saw you, I knew you'd be mine. Yeah, hop up the same. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. Let me go again, because I wasn't sure what I was doing. Okay, go. D more. Gang, 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 gang. You know what it is. We gonna make it do the damn thing. Baby, when I saw you, I knew you'd be mine. Yeah, hop up the same way. We didn't waste time. Now we rock and roll and we doing it. Boy, you rock my boat. We ain't ever sinking. Girl, you got my heart. I'm gonna keep it humming. It's D more time. I don't like it. You good, baby. You good, baby. The first two halves were really good. Yeah, the first two. I agree. So, just go ahead and try to do your next two one more time. 
Good, baby. Okay, okay, fine. You good? Yep. Can I um can I do a little can I do one more track? I wanna do a little island, you feel me? <laughs> Alright, here you go. Okay, go. D more gang 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 You know what it is, we gon' make it do the damn thing. Baby what I saw you on the D man Yeah hopped up the same way you did it with the time Now we rock and roll and we doing it Boy you rock my boat when I never sink it Girl you got my heart I'ma keep it honey It's D more time For sure <laughs> I like I like the for sure. We'll we'll take it. You we'll, can take the for sure out. That was no. Funny. I like the for sure though. That's funny actually. <laughs> he said he likes the for sure. Yeah. All right, babe. Come out. So what we'll do is uh on that ad lib track she did, we only gonna keep a couple of those. Okay. Yeah. That was fun. Oh, you like that, huh? Good job, babe. I haven't been to the studio in a while. Yeah. You did so good. Did good. Insert the blare whistle video here. D more, y'all see it? D more, gang, 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 gang. You gonna have everybody. When I was when I used to record, I was the queen of doubles. Oh yeah, queen I of doubles, huh? Pop in. I feel you. Okay, go. Yep. D more, gang, 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 gang. You know what it is? We gon' make it to the damn thing. Yeah, we're okay. gonna edit those like out real quick. It, it no, we're gonna edit them out real quick. So here's your mains. These are your doubles. Let me hear our ad libs. So these are the ad-libs right here. We have these. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Hey. You can take the A out. Just place it. Hey. Woo. Okay, take the hey out. Keep the woo. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. You can take out the second year. And then leave the last ad-lib. Dang, you just hating on my ad -lib. <laughs> <laughs> for sure alright dope so for the next time we have can we spin it on the other track you have this so you could tighten this up later and send it mm -hmm. to me yeah for sure but the other one I want to kind of make sure okay. you want to jump back to the other one yeah exactly. and then because you can level out the beat you know you, yeah, you this, do your I thing can, on this simple yeah track. I have everything I right, need exactly. that I can I can make that shit sound dope as okay, fuck dope, so, dope. Sure. Steve more time yeah 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 Y'all make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. D more intro. Y'all heard it. Y'all saw it. Created it. Y'all created it with us. We doing this for y'all. We doing this for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because we love you. Like, share, comment, subscribe. A flower knows when it's but a like an old type star. How could one ever cease? It's the way you call my eye, you're the hottest classified, it's contagious, yeah. Say that you want the moon, I give you space. On the machine in there, they got, um, you know how you can like pick your drink or whatever, they have the Sani, they have lemon and lime still water, so it has lemon and lime in it. Already in it, huh? That's cool. They didn't have that before. I like that drink right there. That's cool. I roll around in something like that, but yeah, I know he he bumping too. Bumping, huh? I roll around in that. He turned his tube off, but he came in hot. We had wing stop, y'all. You know, after the studio session, came here and uh, we get the lemon pepper wings and that uh Korean Korean barbecue joint. You know what I mean? Dirty yeah, it's dirty. That's why I said wipe that thing on down. Wipe it down, down. We ain't even gonna use this whole damn table, but you know I just can't help it. I'm already, uh, already, I'm already going in. Thank you. No, thank you. 
what y'all like to order when y'all at a uh, wing stop. I love that. Um, I love the uh, Parmesan. I love the Parmesan joints too. Parmesan joints. I love joints. you want to try that water. Uh, I can try it. What water? I'm a lemon pepper girl all day. I do like me some hot buffalo sauce. Just, you know. But um, I definitely do the all flats. Well done. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to cut it. How'd you feel being in the studio for the first time in about what, a couple years? A couple, it's been... Last time you was in the studio was when you did this thing for Blake, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That but that's, that's, I think it's been like four or five years. Um, it was cool. It was fun. I low key didn't want to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Got her hooked. I realized I missed it. That's what Tara said. She's like, uh oh, she addicted. She back. <laughs> she said, Dewan gonna be like, no, no, no. Why would I say no, 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 no? I don't know, just because I'm a, um, do you want to record a lot now? Listen. You and I were supposed to do an album a long time ago. We were supposed to do something together. If it makes sense, it makes sense. You know what I'm talking about? Well, of course it makes sense. I'm just saying. Look at you and listen. If it makes sense and when it makes sense, then it's going to make sense. Listen to you and listen to me. This is the beginning. I was just sitting there one day, brain. So I'm like, "Yo, we need to do our own intro. Like, we're we're, we're both artists, um, and why would we use somebody else's music? It just doesn't make sense." So, good call, honey. Good call. Wrote that thing up real quick. Like I said, my boy Radio. I was at his studio. The beat happened just natural. I wasn't even talking to him about anything. He just was doing something. I was like, "Yo, we could use that." <laughs> he was just gonna throw the beat away. I'm like, no, 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 no. He was gonna no, no, throw no. it away. That's just, rude. Yeah, because he was just playing. Like he was just playing around. He wasn't gonna save it. That is so rude. I was like, no, 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 no. What kind of draw? You got the cream soda. I got that root beer. I got the um, orange cream soda. I don't drink a lot of soda. Like honestly, I probably drink 90% water, but 95% water. The other 5%. Not because sometimes I get like the cranberry ginger ale the you know like the cranberry uh, that cranberry ginger ale do hit yeah the cranberry ginger ale and then the, um, the cranberry mango everything got cranberry oh that cranberry mango oh you just took me out <laughs> it's delicious it make you just automatically tongue pop like as soon as you drink it mm, mm. on guy records mm. on guy records so yeah, my baby daddy is a, um, a, a studio assassin, y'all. He be going to the studio, <laughs> just doing things that you didn't know you needed. He didn't know he gives what it needed to give, but you didn't know that you needed till you hear it. Thank you, honey. I appreciate it. You know. I be in the studio looking at him, lurking and stuff. It's just my passion, man. It's just my passion. It's just my passion. This is my passion. It's my passion. It's like hey, it's like Manny Pacquiao. That's why when he like 42, they ask him, why are you still fighting, man? He's, he said his age is what? 42. But how he say it? 42. <laughs> but he was like back, boxing, back, boxing, back, boxing is my passion. <laughs> Boxing, boxing, boxing is my passion. Back, 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 so that's back, what you back, see. I, I'm doing. I'll be doing music till I'm 80, 90, till I die. I'll be doing music. So when it's your passion, you do it forever, man. There ain't no so fighting is different. You know what I'm saying? Because it weighs Ooh, on your body. Food, it's a little different because it weighs on your body um, a lot more than singing do. But if you're touring a lot, it weighs on your body. So you know, it's a time and a place for everything. But. It's my passion, so I don't really see no. It's fun for me. It's not a job. It's my life. I love it. Unfortunately, throughout my career, I've encountered people that don't have the same passion but want to rob my passion. Or, you know. They want to steal your joy. But God is good, his rejection is my protection. And 
I stand on that. Believe that. Protection is my protection. When you know when you know who you are, man. It's a powerful thing. It alleviates a lot of the unnecessary That's for your bones. places and things. It's for my bones. So I don't give a damn. Ooh, I'm cold. Fighting. Ooh, y'all see that? We branding them a little too much. They ain't paying us. They will be though. Wing stop. Wing stop. stop. Come on. Wing stop. Come on ahead and cut that check. Rick Ross know what it is. Rick Ross, fellow Aquarian like me. Come on, fellow Aquarius. Come on and cut that check. Rick Ross came up on the list. He forever, he forever straight. He came up. You understand me? Maximize. That's a smart dude. He owned like, what? He, I think he might own damn near like 60 wing stops now across the world. Mm. Go ahead and get him right. And then we about to eat. I love y'all, but like I said in the last time, y'all you know y'all don't want to see me chewing. Ooh, wait, look at that. Got the lemon pepper. Ooh, wee. Look at Ooh, that. Nice it's and fresh and hot too. I love it when it's fresh and hot. Like we'll that. be back. <laughs> After a long day, <clears throat> ain't nothing like getting up in the jacuzzi. After a long day, I got the red light special for you, baby. I don't do red lights. Got that red light special. Ooh. This girl. Maybe it should. I'm young. Okay. If you want it to, I'll give you the red black fish. This joint. Ah, first of all, this water. How you gonna make it? Let me tell you. What you mean? I cut my toenails today. How you gonna make it? I got to get another pedicure. I got to get another pedicure. Ooh. This water hot. Huh? This water hot. You said you got a what? You just gotta sit down, babe. I know what I gotta do. I'm sitting in chill. You got that. You got that. The love. You got that. 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 You got you did just get it. Why you don't you get in? It's nice and hot. It feels wonderful. I found the red light. I wanted the red light. Oh, yeah. It'll change colors, right? No. Well, if you keep touching it, there's different settings. Excuse me. Did you fart it? No, I burped. I farted. Whoa. <laughs> TMI. Like it daughter. doesn't need to be shared. It's like mother, like daughter. Oh, wow. No, I burped. Daughter, like mother. D more, D more gang. Y'all hear farted. that? She be fart. First of all, everybody farts, but I don't. I'm a lady. I fart silently. And, and and I mean, I don't know. I grew up thinking women didn't boo boo and fart till I was like 13. Go on, go on, I want to move. This, this is a speaker. It's a speaker, a but okay. This you thing know, right we here. We all grab a pole. We can just walk. This speaker gets loud. But I don't as think hell. I'm gonna put gravel under the rug. She got it on Amazon. Put gravel around it. Like my mom's addicted to Amazon. Down. Both our moms are addicted to shopping on Amazon. Amazon. Okay. I'm working. I'm sorry. It's my green night. But this I'm speaker sorry. gets yeah. loud as hell. I would show you guys, but you know we don't want to get our video like copyrighted. No mm -hmm. YouTube with that. The foolery. Oh, hey. You got that. You <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> so, you know, fun fact is that I, what do you think is my favorite when, when getting a massage? What uh -huh. do you think is my favorite part of a massage? A full body massage. But what's my favorite? Like, what's no, my I'm favorite saying that's, body that's part? part of, to that's the massage. question. Is a full. Correct. The question is a full body massage. The question is a full body. I'm saying I'm double checking so I understand the question. It says in the word and all things get an understanding. So I'm trying to make okay, sure. Okay, that's I'm that's that's the way question. that's way up here. I need you to come down here with it. I'm just saying. So 
I already know where you're going with this. You like to get your butt massage. But that's not the most. Um, nah, I definitely like underneath the butt cheeks. I feel Did like I that's, not get that right. That's one, but that's not the. That's not my number one. That's not um, my, like, well, my some places one. do it. Some places don't. But like massaging your head, like your 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 face and your hair, like your head. My head. That's one. Oh, that's not the number one. No. I felt this question. Whatever you're alluding to. Yeah. I would say your feet. Close, my hands. Oh lord. I'ma tell you why. I would have never guessed that. Yeah, well, I rip. don't know why because your hands you use your hands more than anything else on your body. Aside from that, your hands <laughs> trigger endorphins into your mind it lets off chemicals to your mind touch is so important touch is so valuable that's why your hands are so if you go like this rub right here in the middle of your hand it is sensitive you know what i'm saying because your hands has access to your mental <laughs> functionality um yeah a person the way they touch you can can drive you crazy the way they touch you can make you mad the way they touch you can make you happy it can make you angry you know what i mean so touch is so important whenever and it doesn't happen frequently because even when you go get a massage they massage your hands for maybe like a minute you know what i'm saying if that but your hands that hand massage did feel good hands are essential for me uh the feet are amazing to get a massage do you feel me I give you hand massages a lot. You give me hand massages? Yeah, like... No, you don't. You massage my head. You don't give me What I'm hand. saying is when I give you a massage, I do massage your hand. Uh, yeah, you do. Your your hands and I'll massage your Yeah, you give, you give great massages. You know? I know I give great massages. That's not what I say. You got, you got strong hands. But there a, um... Ooh. How about you? What's, what's your Well, you have to guess what mine is. I already know what yours is. Excuse me? I already know what yours is. What is mine, Duan? Off the rip. What is mine off the rip? Your favorite body part to get massaged is your neck. <laughs> Are you sure that's the answer you were thinking? It's your neck. Um, no. It's your it's neck. One of them is my neck. Okay, the, the most, the most... The one that I like the most. The one that is expeditiously, like, your favorite? Whoa, why are we using the expeditiously word? Because essentially I'm trying to get to the root of this problem. It's not a problem. I'm asking you the same question. It's, I would say, well, mine is, like, my I'm thighs. A, I'm a, look it. That's Baby, see, I thought that you said, you said you're I trying to even, get to the root of the problem. Listen, but did you give me an opportunity? to get to the root of you, you just yourself absolutely <laughs> i was trying to rewind and press play but you went on ahead and fast forward and did, did oh what you wanted Lord. to do anyway why don't we tell them about one of your first um birthday gift excursions like that i took you like your first birthday gift yeah uh, that was pretty sweet you know, i had to bust up on it real quick yeah so she had I me did. uh you know she told me be ready at a specific time i was at the crib she was out all day you know what i mean i said all right so I go outside, you know, she had to, she had this guy call my phone and, you know, say, um, I'm here to pick you up. I said, uh, what you mean you're here to pick me up? It was a car up? service, a luxury car service. Right, man, I'm getting, I mean, uh, am I going to tell it the story? It wasn't just some guy. Would you, like, would you like to tell the story or do you want me to tell No, you can tell it, but you're, you said I had some guy, I had some guy to call your phone or text your phone. Listen, she, she, okay. Go ahead, tell the story. So, oh a God. gentleman called, it is, a gentleman calls my line and he's like, uh, he said, um, hey, you know, uh, here to pick you up. I said, uh, here to pick me up. He said, uh, yes, your wife requested that we picked you up. And I no, said. No, the words exactly was your queen. I'm here to pick you up and take you to your queen. So be ready in 10 minutes. That's right. So that is correct. Um, <laughs> words for beta. So nonetheless, I go outside, you know, it's a nice prestigious black, a nice prestige black you know luxury truck guy gets out opens up the door i get in 
we commit to drive. I didn't ask no questions. You know, he just told me I had a you know good woman and la 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 all that good stuff. And we talked a little bit about his family and all that. And so nonetheless, going to downtown LA, he pulls up to Volcanoes, and um, you know, she, she sent me a text saying, "Just come, we will here to the concierge. I mean, not to the concierge, to the uh, what's the ladies that what's the ladies that stand at the front." The, um, the, recept the host, the hostess? The hostess. The receptionist, the hostess. Nonetheless, go in there directly to my table. So I go and uh, they direct me over to her. She's sitting there, you know, sipping on a glass of wine with her legs crossed. <laughs> like, looking like she was a mob boss or something, you know? Why is that so funny? And so I just started laughing because she really bossed up over here with that one, you know? So we sit down, we eat, we have a good time. She's like, um, you know, we must walk over here. Got to, you know, handle a little something. And so we um, we actually got in the car. You drove, cause, yeah, so we got in her car. And she didn't say let's walk. She said, you know, I got this drive over here. I got to pick up something. Or, no, um, I'm trying to remember, too. It was, I said we were going to go to This was about five movie. years ago. We were going to go to the movie, so we went to L.A. Live. Right. So she was like, you know, let's go. Um, let's go. We're going to go see a movie. So I'm like, cool. So we go to L.A. Live. Uh, and as we walking, you know, I'm walking towards the movie theater. She's like, actually, let's go this way. And I'm like, but the movie theater right there. She's like, I know, but there's something I need to grab over here. So we walking, and as we walking, I'm starting to see Laker fans and all. I'm like, I, I said we going to a Laker game, and this was Kobe's last game. It was his last season. Last season, but it was like his last. It was. I don't know if it was his last, it was like two games out from being his last game. And so I, you know, I'm not a fan, to be honest with y'all, I'm not a fan of a lot. Um, but I was a fan of Kobe. And uh, got to see him live, man, and that was just so dope. We sat literally like... Our seats were fire. Three rows from the floor. You know, she spent a nice little quaint or whatever. And uh, Kobe, Kobe shook a, Kobe shook a neck of soap. Cold right in front of me and hit a swish. I caught it all on my camera too. I was, <laughs> I was so happy. Yeah, she bossed up on that. Was that's 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 been my best birthday um, by far. That was pretty. You know, that was pretty dope. That was real dope. Because it was all it was all a surprise too. I always say before that, honestly, like my birth, my favorite, one of my greatest birthdays was just my boy, um, my boy, little E girl at the time. Um, happened to throw me like a little surprise birthday party at her house and I didn't know nothing about it it was just the thought that mattered like I had no idea we just went over there mind you we'll go over there quite frequently but we just went over there and you know she had a few a few acquaintances there that that we all knew and everybody was just like happy birthday and it was just dope because it was just the thought like I didn't think anything was gonna happen on that day and um, you know for her to think about me on my day that was just dope so it was simple but it was it was one of my best birthdays but i took the cake so shout out oh. to connie shout out to connie shout out to connie shout out to connie but sorry connie i took the cake oh Period. yeah i mean you know you did yeah i mean as you should <laughs> you know as you should <laughs> you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying what about you um, hey y'all, I'm sweating like a goddamn. Like, birthday for you, from you to me? It could be a birthday, it could be an experience. Um, it wasn't really a birthday, but when you proposed to me in Hawaii, that was like a top, my top, just on a high moment gift. Can I tell y'all something too? When I proposed to her, about six months prior to me proposing to her, we had we had been absent. Like we hadn't. So when I proposed to her, we wasn't having sex. Yeah, we were celibate. You know what I'm saying? We were so we made that choice. Now, when we got back together, we was getting it in. But I'm just saying, after a while, it was one of those things where I, I wanted to, you know, again lead her in the right way. And you know, all those slip and fell on a banana peel. Had Whoa. the opportunity to get it right. So I said, you know, I want to do it. I want to do it the spiritual way that I feel it should be done and then everybody you know preference is preference but for me I, I wanted to do what I felt like 
was was righteous uh, with my walk. You know what I'm saying? It had nothing to do with anybody else. So. Well, yeah, it was definitely something that we both collectively were like, you know, this is something we've done it our way in other relationships, and we've never done it God's way. So. It, yeah. So you know, it, it was it was challenging. Obviously, it's going to be. Um, Whoa. And you know, it's just water bubbles. Chill out. I know, but it's it's just water bubbles. And the truth, you know, the truth is, is that she was struggling. But oh she, my God! Uh, like how you, you just throw me completely? I'm leaving the book. It's not throwing you under the bus. There's no the, honesty can't be thrown under the bus because at the end of the day, you in the bus. So how oh you gonna Lord. be under the bus if you in the bus? The bottom line I is. I mean, yes, my hormones are raging. I'm a very sexual person. You know, physical touch is my, one of my love languages. So but it, like I said, relationship with somebody who I am in love with. I was I, yes. I, I've kind of reiterated this to you guys prior to the man. You are the leader. You are the headship of your men. You are the leader and the headship of your relationship. Does not mean that your woman is your pawn. Does not mean that she bow down to you, do everything you say. She's your equal. But the reality of it is, is that she's looking to you in ways to lead her that she can have security and feel confident in. And if you lack in those areas, she will she will become the more dominant. And that could turn that could turn bad for any relationship. Just being trying a to stay in the water so we don't get it. The water would be Ooh, awesome. Yes, thank please, you. The water. Thank but, you, mom. Thank you. So you know, just saying all this to say that, like, I, as you guys continue to dive more into D more, we'll begin to share more of our story and our journey. But that was something we did. You know, six months. Um, Actually, it was a little longer than that because even when yeah. we got engaged, we didn't do. We were in Hawaii and didn't bust the move like that. That was tough. You in this beautiful place, but we was vibing. We, we had was, so much. We fun. had so much fun. It was like the sex was okay. It, it was cool, it but was it wasn't even a thing. It just, yeah, it was just like you know we were enjoying who we were. And they say, they say you really know, you know, the vibe of a relationship when you travel with somebody. If you could travel with that person and get along. Then nine times out of ten, you good because typically, you know, that's when a lot of couples you, face their most deficit is when they travel for some odd reason. I just oh, I when know, really right? it should be the environment helping Thank you God and changing, you, right? you know, your mind and renewing you. You, you know, renew. our battery died, y'all. But we back. You know what I mean? We back like a heart attack. Um, so now nah, I think we were. Um, yeah, I think I was just talking to my fellas out there. Just letting y'all know, man, that um, you, you can't expect your lady to, to follow if you're not a good leader. So work on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Work on yourself, and you'll see things start to turn out easier. People are going to be people. You know what I mean? You're only responsible for your actions. But as long as you're doing the right things, it'll come back to you. You know, So just stay diligent. Stay strong. Look that lady in her eye and tell her, listen, baby, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Jahan. I got it. Anything you'd like to elaborate or would you like to elaborate on this conversation? Would you like to join in? Um, I definitely was joined in and elaborating. I agree with everything you're saying, of course, per usual. As far as the lady, definitely allowing yourself to be led by your man. It's, you know, I feel a lot of women, it's hard to really submit that word sub submission Admitting to your man it just makes you feel less than it makes you feel weak especially mm. nowadays we have all these all this music all this music out there that's talking about independent being an independent woman and not needing a man for this not needing a man for that and that's ultimately not the way God intended things to be so I would just say you know take a leap of faith and um, a wise woman once told me shout out to mama Lynn that the man is the head, but the woman is the neck. So, mm. you know, we decide, we make decisions as well. We're, we're their, their second eyes, if you will, second pair of eyes to just, a, a, can be um, a protection. We can protect them and see things that they don't see. We feel things in our womanly intuition. You know, we're gonna he hear, see, feel things that they may not hear, see, or feel. So yeah, you know, we do our part, they do their part, and together we just make this butternut squash pie.
That's real. Hey, my sister just made it. Oh, <laughs> but her not squash fire. That's really Shout good. out to Kai. It's still getting on. It's still lit. Shout out to Kai with the plot. It's still lingering on her tongue. But no, everything she said, I concur. Um, I definitely concur. And I think it's just accepting the differences that God created man and woman mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just accepting those differences, their emotions are emotions going to be different. You know? Yeah, um, not getting caught up on. Yeah, they're leading us and they're the head, but as I said, we're the neck, so we do our part as well. We have a we have a position that we play. So absolutely, you know, I mean, the woman, the woman offers a peace, a peace factor, a nurturing factor that a man needs to really thrive. If you're gonna be in a relationship, in a marriage, anything, you need that peace and you need the strength of a woman too. You know, uh, women are amazing. Women. Um, Women embody so much. Um, it's celestial, you know. Celestial. It's out of this world. So, I mean, yes. the things that a woman can do can change a world. You know, they do. It's, it's happening right now. Babies are being born. So. And you have to. Women are naturally we're peacemakers. We are. We like he said. We embody peace. But and I'm learning this to this day. I'm dealing with this. I'm walking this out myself. You have to make sure that you have peace within yourself in order to bring someone else peace. That's cute. So you have to, you know, whether it's meditation, lighting some candles, doing affirmations, talking to yourself in the mirror, whatever you gotta do, sis. Just make sure that you're feeding you and you're grounded and rooted in God, and you know. I saw my cousin Crystal posted on her Instagram today that um, knowing your purpose isn't what you do, it's who you are. And that just hit home with me because it's so true. Like You have to know who you are in God and yep. the position, the woman that you want to show up to be. She's not built overnight. She, you have to, you have to, she's not made overnight. You have to build her, but you have to show up. You have to, whether it's waking up at 5 a.m. and praying or just waking up at 5 a.m. and journaling and having goals set and having some some sort of stability your man's gonna see that your man's gonna feel it and he's gonna automatically want to dang I gotta step myself I, I gotta I gotta be on my toes too so it's definitely a iron sharpens iron thing. iron sharpens <laughs> iron you know what I'm saying you listen you want your partner to be in the front seat and not, you know, you, not either one of you looking at each other in the rear view mirror. You know, y'all want to be mm -hmm. hand in hand. So, again, it takes time. It takes work. Um, if you're not going through anything and you really don't know that person, um, you, you got to go through some real trials and tribulations and some hardships to, to consider yourself knowing the person that you with. And I'm just being a buck. You know, everything is beautiful in the beginning. Um, but give it some time. You know, give it some time. And know that you know that that person is gonna be strong, or at least you're gonna be strong for them. You know, winter, spring, summer, fall. You know, all four seasons. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, and she's a summer baby. All four seasons, you know. So man, we at the end of the day, we hope y'all enjoyed this uh, jacuzzi talk with D Moore. You know, I mean, this <laughs> honestly talk with D Moore. This, this was continue. <laughs> this wasn't our plan. It, 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 honestly, it wasn't our plan. But like I said, we led. We led by the spirit. We're going to do things accordingly, whether you like it or not. We're going to be who we are. Um, and we and we're not, a, you know, we're, we're unapologetic about that because God created us unique. He created us in his image. So if you don't like me, you don't know me. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how I look at it. Peace and love. Y'all stay blessed. No stress. Be more. Period, poo. Gang, 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 gang. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do it. <laughs> Cover my blood.